Oh man, I've got a great video for you today. Uh, a couple of years ago, I watched a program called TX Factor. It's about uh, humans bouncing signals off the moon and coming back. Now this clip I'm about to show you is a fellow called Bob on a YouTube channel called TX Factor. It was recorded a while ago. It's in HD though. Uh, Bob is G0FGX and he was at Goon Hilly using this huge dish. Okay, as a demonstration, right? He calls CQ. The dish is focused on the moon and the signals come back. Now, bearing in mind, if you do the research, uh, a round trip to the moon, it says here, roughly the average distance from the Earth to the moon is 1.2 light seconds, right? So the average round trip time is about 2.36, 2.3 seconds, give or take. Now I did find a really good to scale. That's the earth and that's the moon, that dot over there. So when we bounce the signal off the moon, it comes back and we are on the earth here and the moon's over here somewhere. That means that we could be bouncing our signal and talking to someone almost on the other side of the world, right? But let me play this clip because it demonstrates the speed of light very well. Hello CQ, this is Golf Zero Foxtrot Golf X-Ray. Golf Zero Foxtrot Golf X-Ray CQ. G0 F G X listening. G0 F G X listening. What it's his face. <laughs> I can't quite believe it. It's pure physics. Speed of light is absolutely fantastic. Now, a friend of mine, Lee, G0MTN, it was on his bucket list. He'd never actually done EME. So he got a basic couple of eight elements for two meters on a very much homebrew manual tilt mechanism. The least lost coax he could find. In fact, he told me he had to reduce the coax length to keep the losses right down. He used a preamplifier with a 100 watt radio using uh, WSJTX, there's an EME, Earth, Moon, Earth, system in there that everybody uses. And he made some contacts on two meter band, I think it was. It's absolutely fantastic. And if you look at some, what people have done, I mean, I just did a search here, EME, ham radio. There's a whole world of people out there, but I will show you this guy on the right in a minute, DL7 APV. There's some people going to town. Um, I don't know who this is. I mean, he is pointing straight up. Obviously, you need fancy rotators to be able to follow the moon, roughly, all right? By the way, the reason Lee's um, G0MTN, his Yagis were quite close to the ground, is that there's a bit of ground gain. You know, the reflection off the ground together. So it's 20, 30 degrees off the horizon, you get it all going together. Up to the moon. It's quite a big beam width. But when we look at DL7 APV, I mean, just look at the size of this. He actually says, with my antenna, it's possible to work EME with only a dipole. In other words, you just a basic dipole, he'll find you, right? He's got 128 11 element Yagis for the 70 centimeter band, 432 megahertz. Tremendous, isn't it? Obviously, by the way, if you are nothing to do with ham radio and you've popped to this channel, it's a ham radio channel, right? You take a basic exam and you get a license and you can do, you can muck around on the, on the, uh, on the airways. Absolutely tremendous. This video was prompted by Roy Bland, who said he's got a request for a video about Earth, Moon, Earth. And he's got friends and, comp and conspiracy theorist friends who claim it never happened, meaning that you wouldn't be able to get communication to the moon and back. And that's why sometimes if you were, if you're my age or older, you will remember the Apollo moon landings and how there was quite a delay between mission control talking to, you know, Neil and Buzz, particularly on Apollo 11. In fact, Neil and uh, Buzz Aldrin they discussed that. I mean, when they had the 1202 program alarm, when they were just about to land on the moon. Capcom, we're go for landing. Eagle, Houston, you're go for landing, over. It's 1202, stand by. 1202. 1202. What's that? You've got, to, you've got to factor in nearly three seconds 
between them reporting something and getting an answer, right? You know, do we abort or not, right? Now, if you've only got two seconds to work it out, you've got three seconds before you can get an answer, which is why, of course, when they go to Mars, be up to 20 minutes delay. Imagine that. Inspire you about Earth, Moon, Earth. It's quite possible to do with a basic uh, Yagi, some low loss coax and a preamplifier. And people like uh, DL7APV, I don't know what his name is, we can look him up. Burned Wild. Someone like him will pick you up. In fact, he's the sort of guy, I'm sure. If you say, look, I've got a three element Yagi here, got 100 watts going, got a preamplifier ready. Can I have a sked with you on Sunday afternoon? He's the sort of bloke and say, yeah. Oh, 2021, he's added a small dish for EME contests on the 23 centimetre band. Speed and light, fantastic, isn't it? And also, I'm particularly, before we dial off, I was particularly enjoying that graphic to scale Earth, Moon, Earth. I mean, it's quite a long way away, isn't it? Earth being here, you know, and that's going to be the moon. Absolutely fantastic. I do like physics. I love a bit of science. All right. Have a jolly good day. Let me know if you ever get into EME or you just try it once. It's the sort of thing we all need to do. I might give it a go, actually. All right. Anyway, enjoy your radio. See you next time. Bye for now.